certainly does not look like a president ready to strike a deal. Yeah, people I've talked to on Capitol Hill much more pessimistic right now, John. But stand by, because we're going to bring in Cecilia Vega, our senior White House correspondent. Also, Matt Dowd, our chief political analyst. We should also say we reached out to everyone in that meeting yesterday. No one agreed to come on the show. Uh, but Cecilia, first things first, you know, we've seen the bipartisan reaction here in the United States. Democrats and Republicans condemning the president. Alarm overseas. Uh, and this is what the world woke up to, George. Uh, just, just you know, the South African ruling African National Congress called this extremely offensive. Take a look at what the former president of Haiti, Laurent Lamont, said. He said, quote, totally unacceptable, uncalled for. Moreover, it shows a lack of respect and ignorance never seen before in the recent history of the U.S. by any president. Enough is enough. But, George, we got to go back to what's being said here at home. Blatantly racist, vulgar, un-American. That is the resounding response to this from from both parties right now. Yeah, both parties right now. And I have to say, you know, as we said, we're not reporting the word right now. I think that's probably a mistake because I don't think it's right to censor the president or, or to sugarcoat the racist sentiment revealed by how he used that word in the meeting. And Matt, I want to bring that to you right now because this has alarmed so many overseas right now and here in the United States. You've seen the kind of reaction we saw to the Charlottesville comments by the president. Well, it should alarm everybody. As George, everybody in this conversation today, most of the people at the studio today, and almost everybody on the, on the other side of this camera, is a son or a daughter of an immigrant. I'm a great great grandson of Patrick Dowd, an immigrant who came here with no money. Who those same words were used about his country. They were used about Greeks. They were used about Irish. They were used about Latinos. They were used about Asians. And the same thing. I think this is a very pointed remark. And the only thing I can think of, there's only one other guy I think like Donald Trump who came from Queens, and it's Archie Bunker. And the only difference between the two of them is Donald Trump as president has more money, but probably less class than Archie Bunker. Uh, John Carl, meantime... It